Yo, what is going on today or tonight? I'm actually getting some turkey legs ready to go on a pit barrel cooker. I got four turkey legs going tonight. I'm just uh, cleaning them up. Gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, garlic powder on there. I don't, I don't even know if I have I have garlic powder, but I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder on there. Do a little dry brine overnight. And then put them on a pit barrel cooker probably midday tomorrow so let me show you what i got going on and if you like what we're doing on the channel here please like comment subscribe tell your family tell your friends i really really appreciate the support so let's go ahead and get this going now here's what i got going i got four turkey legs in the bag here and all i did was throw some kosher salt in there along with a little bit of this garlic powder that i got and i'm gonna go ahead just throw this in the fridge overnight and I'm going to throw it back to you when I'm getting the pit barrel cooker fired up. In the mini little chimney here and I'm going to show you what we got going on. Got the coals in the bottom gonna cook on the grate this time so let me go ahead dump these coals in there and then show you when I'm putting the turkey legs on all right so I'm about to get these turkey legs on the pit barrel here as I mentioned I got the cooking grate in there along with the uh, rebar as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead get the lid off and get to loading up this turkey and a good smoke in there on there just like that I go back and forth just in case one area is wanting to cook a little bit hotter than another one all right there we go got all of them on there and I'm gonna check back in about an hour and see what it's looking like all right so these turkey legs been on here about 45 minutes so I want to take a look, see what we're looking like so far. Mm-hmm. Really, really nice color on there. I'm gonna go ahead and get these bad boys flipped over. So we can start cooking in the sun. Oh yeah. Again, this is 45 minutes in. Cooking up well, I must say. Inside. There we go. Got it flipped over to the other side here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my probe, see what the temperature is at. Let's see, we're getting there. I don't know if it'll focus. It's saying like 153. That was like 165 and then these ones on the end are pretty these are probably cooked a little more yeah that was a 170 on the end so really the only one that still needs to go this one at the end here but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little glaze on these uh, bottom couple so I can get those off pretty soon show you what we got going for that all right update on what we got going here these two back here they were at the front where it was a little bit hotter so I moved them back there and I put a little honey sriracha glaze on those two and then these two which don't have as much uh, bone pullback I went ahead and put those over the hotter part of the barrel so we'll just go ahead and keep on cooking probably check back every uh, five or so minutes until these bottom ones have a little more pullback and that char on the outside of the skin five minutes and I'm just gonna get these back two that we glazed over flipped over <clears throat> Let the other side glaze up a little bit. There we go. Tell you one thing, that color is looking absolutely amazing. Make sure you can see that. Mm, mm, mm. 
All right, we'll let it go for another five minutes. And these ones down here are getting a little better. And we'll just keep on going from there. It's been another five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get those two in the back that are glazed up off the pit barrel. Tell you the smell and the color on those. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely mad I gotta wait to take a bite. So let me go ahead and see if I can get one of these picked up. Give you a close up what we're looking like there. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna get these put up, let them chill for about five minutes, and then we'll bite into one. So yeah, just walking through the cook on the pit barrel cooker, lit up the mini chimney starter, cooked for about 45, 50 minutes, and then I glazed with a little honey sriracha at the end. And I must say, the color is amazing, and I'm looking forward to trying this out, so here we go. Mmm. That is really, really good. Really moist. Flavor's definitely there. With that, um, I, had, I used some wild game rub from Oak Ridge Barbecue and also that honey sriracha glaze at the end. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'm probably just gonna eat this like this. But until next time, <laughs> keep on smoking.